Hello folks, it's Bill Swift from Swift Canoe and Kayak and we are here at our test paddling center in Oxtung Lake and we're here to talk about one of my favorite Swift canoes, the Kiwaden 17. This beauty has been designed by David Yost and he's hit an absolute home run with this model. It's an asymmetrical shape that's a little bit straighter keeled in the back end and has a little bit more rocker forward and it's got that real characteristic, very rounded chine area of all the David Yost designs with a shallow arch bottom on it. And then he's put a fair amount of tumble home in it where the sides get tucked in up near the gunnels. So it really creates a nice situation where it makes it easier for the paddlers when they reach over the side. The fullness is carried way up though. So it really does help deflect the wind and waves off to the side of the boat. This is a fantastic tripping canoe for two people, a small family. It's also a great day paddling boat for folks that just want to get out and they want to cover a little bit of, of ground. It's extremely efficient in the water. This baby really moves. When you take a stroke, it accelerates nicely and it really keeps gliding into the next stroke. So let's tell you about this particular one. This is a carbon fusion Kiwaden 17 with a clear carbon anegra, the standard cloth on the outside. This one has the two-tone finish on the bottom and the champagne color. The champagne will add about three pounds or so in this particular model. You can also order the two-tone in one of our darker colors, more colorful, and it'll add a little bit more weight. This particular one has the black carbon Kevlar trim on it. It can also be ordered with a black and gold carbon Kevlar trim. It has our carbon end caps. We drill these little holes in the end so when the boat gets turned over after you've used it, it helps the water all drain out. This particular model has the cherry interior, the cherry handles, cherry seats, a stern thwart, a contoured yoke. It has a few nice options on it also. It's got a bow sliding seat on it, which has locking knobs. This is a really nice feature to have for families that may have small kids paddling in the front sometime, or couples that vary a lot in size. It allows you to do a couple things, to adjust the trim of the boat in the water. Smaller people, when they move it forward, will bring the bow down a little bit, and it makes it easier to reach over the sides. It's put in with cherry with stainless steel hardware. Note how on the front of the slider, folks, we use our side pods on here, and we build a ribbing structure into the boat specifically designed to match up to where the side pod end adds tremendous structural integrity to the boat. This one has the cherry contoured yoke in it, standard feature in all Swift Tandem canoes. This baby also has a carbon foot bar, which is very popular with day paddlers. It's pretty easy to adjust and get it set in the right position. Some trippers also like to get it, especially if you're loading a lot of your gear forward. When you paddle, you really push on your feet a little bit. If you've got a real windy, wavy day and you really want to go and get across a windy lake, you actually push on your feet when you paddle. And when you have a firm position to do that in, it really helps you have a more efficient stroke where you get some more power onto it. Now, all of our seats are wonderful. They're very wide frame. We make them as wide as we can. We angle the front bar forward, so if you're kneeling at all, it doesn't dig into the back of your thighs when you're kneeling. And the back bar in it is curved, which is really nice. It gives you a little bit more room for your posterior as you're paddling. Now, all of our boats have the float tanks in them, and you'll see there's a float tank plug on the end. They're air tanks, so this helps seal it up. It's got a rubber stopper on it. The back end of the boats, there's the serial number plate. So the Kiwaden 17, tripping, day paddling, if you're looking for an efficient cruising boat that is very safe to paddle in wind and waves, 
this baby's at. We are happy here today to have some customers join us to talk about the Kiwaden 17. And Eric and Nancy have gone through the sales process and they are ordering a Kiwaden 17. And Eric, let me start with you. You spent a fair amount of time researching your purchase decision. Well, that, that's right, Bill. We, uh, we looked at several manufacturers and narrowed it down to uh, two or three. And we came out to visit you a short time ago and did our first test paddle in the Q8 and 17. And uh, basically that, that was decision made. It, it, it was a fantastic boat. It exceeded my expectations. Now, you guys went through the experience of test paddling. So I know that the test paddling was important, putting the boat in the water. And, and what did you find when you paddled the Q8 and 17? Uh, well, initially, just carrying it down to the water, it, it's it's so light relative to our previous boat, which we've owned for 30 years. It, uh, this was a pleasure to carry down to the water. It will be great on portages. Uh, once in the water, uh, it was a very windy day. It was nice and stable, and it was quick. It was it was quick, uh, of course, downwind, but into the wind as well. Really, uh, really enjoyed the paddle. It was, uh, it was great. It was a super windy day, I remember, and I encourage you to go out past the bridge where it was even windier. And You guys looked like you really had a good control of the boat, even in the wind. We did. There was, there was even a few small white caps uh, blowing up off on the uh, far side of the bridge. And uh, yeah, it felt totally comfortable the entire time. Just uh, took it out and even broadside to the wind as we turned around, it, uh, it, it instilled confidence. Now, when you uh, told me that you wanted to order the boat, you told me one of the things that was you were impressed by was the fit and finish of the Swift product. Well, that that's true. Uh, I mean, you talked at length about the engineering, and uh, you know more about it than me, but I, I can certainly see that. But when we went to look at a few of the other manufacturers and uh, just you know had a good close look at the boat, they just don't measure up. This is so so nicely done. Obviously, someone has spent a lot of time finishing this and it's just a pleasure to look at. So I have a Kiwaden 17 and my partner is 100 pounds lighter than me and you guys have a difference in stature. And Nancy, how tall are you about? Five feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you should be proud of it. <laughs> now you guys are ordering the boat with the adjustable sliding seat in the front. And tell us about that. Like when I saw when you did the test paddle, you were very comfortable in this position. Yes, I felt more comfortable in our previous boat, um, the seats fixed, and I found that I had to reach over a lot and adjust my seating uh, position depending on which side I was paddling. But when I moved this boat, the seat up here, I could sit comfortably in the middle and not have to uh, reach over the side too much. So you were paddling with the seat all the way forward where it's narrower and it makes narrower. it narrower, easier to reach over. Were you able to put your feet right on the float tank? Yes, it's sometimes nice to be, have the option of um, not just kneeling, but you know, stretching your legs out and bracing when uh, the conditions call for that. Yeah, and you guys were paddling in some wind and waves and you were comfortable in that, in this position. Yes. Awesome. Now, what about the weight? I saw you carrying the canoe. What do you think of carrying this type of boat? Oh, it's very light compared to our other canoe, and so it's a pleasure. It's, I, I am very comfortable carrying this weight. And you like carrying the canoe? Uh, when Eric lets me. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of muscles his way in, and I'll carry it. Nice. Well, guys, let's go down to the water and take it for a test drive again. Turn right around. Good.
guys, you're back from your second paddle now in the Kiwaden 17, and are you still feeling it? Oh, 100%, Bill. We, uh, we really enjoyed it. The, the paddle today, the wind was down relative to our last trip out, and boy, you could just feel the speed of the boat. It was, uh, it was beautiful. Looking forward to some trips next summer. Nice. The Kiwaden 17. Puts a smile on everyone's face. <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> Six thumbs up. Six thumbs up, yeah.